Let's see. Boy, that's an ugly suit. You really are Tommy's son. How do you know my father? Well, I know Tom. Name's Ed Harvison, and I knew your mother better. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside my and restoreth my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness, for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare me a table before in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. I'm offering six dollars an acre. The land ain't for sale. Take it. You're gonna get no better offer, Tommy. You got three days. Best you clear out. The land ain't for sale. Six dollars an acre. What's that make for the whole lot? I don't the sale, Tommy. It's still short. We got nine stacks drying out there, Pa. It's almost a ton's worth. We can break even. Cut the North Meadow again if we have to. Tommy, we cut that at the end of July. There's nothing there. We'd waste more cutting it than if we just let our herd feed off of it and save what we already put up for sale. Can you believe the nerve of harvesting? Right after your mama passed. And he right. to make an offer like that. Maybe he ain't all bad. What? Pop, he's given us a chance to get off the ranch. We could move to Rifle or Glenwood. I could help out, get some illustrating work for the papers. Maybe get a smaller round. Hey, we race. ain't going nowhere. A little kickback from him. A little Harbison's money ain't gonna change nothing. Them crooked bankers. Harbison, they all rot before they set foot to a claim on this ranch. Yes, sir. She really was something else, wasn't she, Pa? She was everything to me. So are you. It's the only move he's got. Look, that worthless rancher hasn't made any money as it is. This could be the first smart thing he's done for his boy. 
You'd be a damn fool not to take the money. And what if he refuses? Then we suggest he makes a smarter choice. Ah. Uh, Boss just wants a cozy cabin to rest his head and a creek to fish. Or am I getting the sense it's more of a personal matter? Hey boss, rider's coming. Want me to handle this? No, I'm coming out. Lovely morning for a ride. Morning, Ed. Morning, boys. What can I do for you? Well, Ed, I'm here to make sure you know that I'm gonna have to decline your offer. Respectfully, of course. Well, Tom, when I made that offer for you to sell, I wasn't asking, I was telling. Respectfully, of course. Look, Ed, this ranch has been in my family for years. I raised my boy here his whole life. You can't expect me to just walk away from all that. Well, that's exactly what I expect. Well, I can't do that, Ed. Look, Ed, I'm willing to give you all the hay you need for practically nothing. You know you can't afford to do that, Tom. You can barely make it as it is. You can't even buy your boy a decent suit. You can't even give him a decent life. I'm a rancher, Ed. This land is my life. I can't start over. You never got started. I never fancied you for her. As a matter of fact, I never fancied you, period. Yeah, well, she never fancied you for a father, neither. Whoa, Junior! Put that away. I was gonna shoot him. Go to hell. This doesn't change anything, Welch. I'm coming for your land tomorrow. Yeah, that's fine, because I ain't going anywhere. Hey, Tommy. You can't protect me anymore. How could you not tell me? Son, your mama didn't want him in your life growing up. Pop, mama's gone. Harbison's family, my grandfather. How could he do this to us? I don't know, son. Maybe he wants Maggie all to himself or teach me a lesson or something. Who knows? Might have his eyes further up the valley. Might know something about prospecting, I don't. Hard to say with a man like him. Well, what are we gonna do? We can't abide him walking on us like that. Not sure. But we ain't gonna walk away from what we got. But he ain't the type to walk away neither. Okay, now sit down under those logs right there and don't let anyone go reaching for the pistols. All right? Pop, I don't know if I can shoot anyone. Tommy, don't worry, okay? It's not gonna come to that, all right? And keep your eye.
That'd be far enough, Ed. Hands away from those guns, boys. I'll harvest and turn your men around and be on your way. This is my ranch and it's staying that way. Now, Tom, I can't do that. I'm claiming this here land. You need to be smart to take that money off with you. See, Ed, that's where you're wrong. Now we can all go away and leave Maggie in peace. This doesn't gotta be like this. There ain't no other way for it to be. Why couldn't you just leave us alone? All this over my land and some hay and a grudge. It wasn't about the hay. I just wanted better for Tommy. Don't you say that. You got your land. Was it worth it? My son didn't deserve this. No, no he didn't. You did. <laughs> 